Welcome back to the lecture series of Python programming. In this session, I am going to familiar to you the importance of sys.exit function. How to exit the program in premature fashion. That is actually the use of sys.exit. Let's understand the importance. You may get the examination question like uh, write a brief note on sys.exit function. How will you explain that? Yes, we'll study that. So moving on to the discussion. Uh, if I talk about like a uh, sys.exit so the main importance of sys.exit it is a function uh, which will provide the pipe which will provide the perform the in, the method such a way that it allow you to exit a python program prematurely it's a, there is a standard library okay you require a standard library called sys first of all you need to import as soon as if you want to use uh, sys.exit first of all you have to import the library called sys okay it's a library which is available in python we can access how to access i already explained the previous session that in order to uh, import the module we need to use the keyword called import fine so uh, it, it can be useful when you need to terminate your program under a certain circumstances or certain conditions immediately if you want to exit the program you can use the particular function when you want to uh, indicate the specific exit status, suppose uh, so you will be having the option like the escape, quit, okay, then exit. Uh, such kind of cases, if you want to apply, if you want to come out of the program, type exit. So in, if you want to execute that particular operation, you require a function called sys.exit. So I think it's clear to everybody. Now we'll do one program to understand the importance of sys.exit function. Okay, uh, from this slide, we can understand that why sys.exit is necessary and why, what is the purpose to terminate your program under a certain condition, like a premature exit. So how to, first of all, you require a module called sys. How to import the module? Yes, of course, you can use the keyword called import. Using the import module, you can import the library called sys. So use sys.exit to terminate the program. So there is a simple example, as you can observe. First of all, you have to import sys. Later, you can create a while loop. Okay, uh, then uh, type exit to exit. If the response equal to the input, for example, if the response equal to exit, obviously the function is going to be activated and immediately uh, the program will come out. So that we are going to verify uh, in real time. Let's see how it can be operated. Yes, let me show you. So as you can observe, uh, first of all, we require uh, import the SYS module. Okay, SYS module you have to import. Next is you have to run the while loop. The while loop using while true. Fine. Uh, the loop will keep on running until a certain condition has been met. So inside the loop, where is the loop? Yes, of course, inside the loop, the print message type exit to exit. Uh, to the console here you can observe type exit to exit that is available inside the console uh, it awaits the user input function at the user input store to the response variable for example if the response you are using a conditional statement if the response equal to exit then the function will be activated so it checks the user input equal to the string exit if the statement if the user type exit then immediately it is going to exit the program because sys.exit is going to be operated if the user didn't type exit, it prints the message that includes the user input. Okay, I hope you understood. It will work whenever it, uh, the user is typed as exit, immediately it will come out of the program. The loop, they will continue another three to six steps, promoting the user for the input, enter the exit, and which will point out the program for the exit. These are the algorithm for this particular program. Hope you understood how to uh, make out the algorithm for a simple program. Examination point of view, you can expect the question like a write a brief note on sys.exit function. Now we are going to work out how to operate this. Let me open the Jupyter notebook. So I'm going to uh, type the program. So let's see how uh, the sys.exit function operate. We uh, already explained the program. Okay, so now Oh, let me run this uh, type to exit to exit so what i'm going to do is let me type to exit okay so again it, it was not correct because 
I just put exit. Okay. So now what I'm going to exit only I have to type. Yes. What you observed? Uh, we observed that I could come immediately come out of the program. So premature exit is happened here. Okay. Earlier, why it why it is not happened? Because I put like a exit dot. If I put exit dot, uh, again it will ask to type once again. But right now I have put exactly exit, so it has come out of the program. So this is the way how to use uh, the uh, the importance of sys dot exit. Let me know if you have any queries. In this video, I discussed about the importance of sys dot exit function where it is used some unavoidable or some un other circumstances, we can make use of sys.exit. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll come up with a new topic called function in the forthcoming session. Thank you for listening.